Well, uh, we are here with uh, another live uh, member, Mr. Summa Navaratnam, also past president of uh, Sri Lanka Rabi, who has been involved with the game for over uh, many, many years uh, uh, and uh, as a player, as an administration in uh, all capacities, uh, promoting and uh, helping uh, Sri Lanka Rabi uh, grow over the years. Uh, He's joined us just after the annual uh, general meeting here at the Olympic uh, House to uh, have a few words on uh, how proceedings uh, went uh, and uh, his uh, views on the current situation of uh, Sri Lanka rugby. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Navaratnam, uh, for joining us. And uh, uh, how was uh, uh, the annual general meeting? Are you happy the way proceedings uh, went off? Yeah, I'm very happy the way the, uh, the president and the office bearers conducted the meeting well. They gave their problems over to the general body to understand. And I find what I heard was that they are having problem with the school section only, while the others are going on as normal. You know, let's hope that everything is sorted out the current coming year. Over the last year, have you like a sort of been involved in the rugby? Have you watched the rugby or, or taken account into how the rugby has been conducted on and off the field? Have you been following it uh, as a life member? Yes, as a, as a, as a rugby player, I've been not as a life member, as a rugby enthusiast, having played rugby, still, still involved in coaching rugby. I have taken a very good, a great interest in schools rugby as well as in the national level. But what I can see that as the president mentioned, you need recruitment from the schools to come up to your, to give you more people and talent to make up your national side. But from what I can also see, the schools are playing differently, a different game, and uh, rugby has to look into that as they go on. In our times, the rugby union ran the school's rugby, and we had no problems at all. Now I don't know what's happening, so no money, schools are not giving funds, and, and they are not sponsoring their own uh, affairs. And anyway, we'll see what happens in the coming year. Yes, uh, looking at uh, schools uh, rugby from uh, that era, from uh, the era you were from, and uh, to, uh, nowadays, do you see the same sort of uh, uh, talent still existent in school rugby, talent uh, uh, coming out uh, where it was uh, before, or was it uh, better before uh, than uh, nowadays? Uh, how do you see, ha how has it uh, progressed in uh, your view, Mr. Navaratna? In, our, in my time, rugby was played for the love of the game and we had expected over 40,000 and 30,000 at an inter-club match, inter-school match. Inter-school match was not so much, but they are increasing now. But in our time, the, the school section did not produce many spectators. But the club section produced a lot of spectators because the rugby was completely different. Now with the hit run, hit run basis, in our time it was talent that counted and boy, people came to watch the rugby being played in this country. Now it has changed and the spectator interest in clubs have dropped while the school section it has increased. That's all. In the coming year, and or the years to come, where would you like to see uh, Sri Lankan rugby, schools rugby or Sri Lankan rugby grow and where would you like to see it uh, achieve or, or what standard you think uh, they could uh, come to, uh, Mr. Navratnam? Well, what I see and I, what I can gather from what I have heard, that our rugby should be confined to seven aside. We should develop our speed and our skill talent and our natural talent to win games. 15 aside is too much for us. We have the brawn, we don't have the, uh, the brawn to match bigger, bigger teams. So I think we should concentrate on seven aside. Chat, uh, any final word you would like to give all our uh, rugby uh, viewers, uh, rugby fans who will uh, watch this uh, uh, discussion on uh, Sri Lanka rugby? Right. I would tell the school, well, I am not in, uh, involved in the national rugby level, but I am involved in school level. And I would tell all school rugby players, don't stick to rugby only. And get involved in other games. And get involved. And I tell the coaches of the game, let them go and play rugby as well. Not to tell them not to play rugby and only take your, your, your game. So my view is that boys must get involved in every, almost all the games that they play.
possibly can. In my group, I let them go and play athletics. They do athletics. They play football, they play basketball, and there's athletic training in addition to rugby. I wish you all all the best. Thank you. Well, that was Mr. Navratnam. Thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, today, and uh, hope uh, we, uh, of course, uh, we will be able to chat to you in the future as well. Thank you.